Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Okay. I love all the excitement. You guys are going to have a great time today. Teachers, if I could ask somebody to shut the back gym door for me, that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting um, our fine arts programs. This is a really exciting thing that we do every couple of years where the fine arts, which pretty soon, fifth graders, you're going to be participating in. Well, some of you already are, actually. So we have our amazing FCS band down here. Waiting backstage, we have um, drama and choir students that are so excited to perform for you. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that these kids have worked really hard backstage. They're students just like you. They're learning, and they're so excited to perform for you. So I would ask that you ha have um, respectful theater etiquette and that you don't uh, make funny noises or talk so loud that your neighbor can't hear the show, but do laugh and laugh loudly and applaud and, and have a good time, okay? So we now, we can't wait to present to you Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. I just wish I was doing something more important with my life. 
Worrying about that self-worth again, Prince Tofa. It all just comes too easily. The fact remains, Saya, you will be king and very soon. When your sainted mother and father passed away and left you in my charge, I promised then that when you came of age, you would be prepared for your reign. Yes. Yes, I know, but I guess I am ready to be king. The thing is, I don't even know who I am yet. I'm sure we'll come to you. Until then, might I suggest faking it? Really? You wouldn't be the first, and you wouldn't be the last. <coughs> to the castle? To the castle. Still, these questions nag me. Nag, nag, nag. <coughs> no, not you, Buttercup. Still, I wonder. Me, who am I? A far from perfect guy. A bum who wants to do what's right, but often does what's wrong. A kid whose voice is way off key, but loves to sing a song. A guy who dreams like a lion, but wakes up like a lamb. Me, who am I but the guy I am? That's who. Christopher Rupert, Slayer of Dragons, Petty List of Ogres, Destroyer of Griffins and Giants, No Friend to Gargoyles, Knights to the Needy, Sportsman and Poet, A Guy Who Dreams Like a Lion, But Wakes Up Like a Lion. Me, who am I but the guy I am? He's our hero. Oh, stop. Such perfection. That's very kind of you. He's the kind of guy who we'd all like to be. Too much. What's the use of self-reflection? Church bells will ring when you are king. People will sing. There is no one quite like me. Who am I? Christopher Rupert. A far Slayer of dragons. Perfect guy. Pitiless to ogres. A jerk Destroyer who wants to do what's and right, but often no does what's to wrong. Gargoyles. A jerk nice whose voice is way off key, but loves to sing a song. Poet. A guy who dreams like a lion, but wakes up like a lamb. Seller of the oceans. Who am I but the guy I am? Prince. That's who. person. Fetch us some water. Yes, sir. Hey, don't speak to her that way. Look How at you know she's poor. Look at her. She's filthy. Here you are, sire. Thanks, young lady. That's very kind of you. It's just water. Give her some money. Really? Yes, it's charity. You have things and she doesn't. You will give her some of your things so she doesn't have a revolution and take all of your things. Spare change, any spare change. The moment charity is mentioned, out comes every layabout. Here are, old woman. Oh, thank you. Bless you, kind sir. Be careful, my lord. Many of the very poor have weapons. Take God with you. No! Good sirs, this is merely Crazy Marie. She only comes to town to gather what others have thrown away. She is gentle in every way. Sweet and delicate. But nuts. She's harmless. Sebastian, Lord Pinkleton, sheathe your swords. You're a great friend to Marie. How lucky she is to have a friend such as you. I wish I had a true friend in this world. I'm standing right here. Uh -huh. Shall we journey on? Very well, Pinkleton. 
Farewell, young lady. I don't want any charity. Take the coin then as a gift for a true friend in this world. <sighs> Sorry, a lot on my mind. Very well, to the castle. Ahem! <laughs> Thank you for saving my life, dear Ella. I shall return the favor. Oh, I didn't do it to have a favor returned. I have a shawl here that only has a few holes and smells of cabbage. You can wear it. Not necessary. Oh, what a handsome man that was. And so kind and generous. That is not a man. That is Prince Topher, the slayer of giants and dragons. He has just returned to us from the university. He is to be crowned king. That man? A world leader? But he appears to have a heart, mind, and soul. It can't be. Marie, you're crazy. Yes. Yes, I am. But that does not change the fact that he is our very own Prince Topher, and he is to be our ruler. Look at your coin, dear. Why, it is him. From the left, such silly ears. And that big crown doesn't help things. He should wear a floppy hat. <laughs> Here, Marie, please take this coin. Buy yourself something warm to eat. Why is it always the very poorest who are the most generous? It, it breaks my heart. And here is our John Michel. He will spout gibberish now and bore us. And do you know why, Ella and Crazy Marie, that the poorest are the most kindest? No, but I have a feeling you are about to be the most forthcoming. Because it is a corrupt system with a smash moral compass. He will forgive me if I just stagger about and mutter. Today, I will be going alone to the castle steps to protest the corruption that riddles our government. You both must come with me. Cinderella! That is Madame, Ella's stepmother. I will shout to the prince. He will have no choice but to listen. Cinderella! You are in harm's way. I have a vision for what this kingdom could be. Cinderella, help me with my parcels this instant. Careful, careful. No one knows the extreme torture I'm subjected to. I'm ignoring that. Cinderella! Stepdaughters, come, come. We are here, Mama. We are exhausted being as beautiful as we look. Cinderella, I know, girl. Help your stepsisters with their shrewd purchases. Into the house, daughters. The real ones. <laughs> Madame isn't always as this mean. Sometimes she sleeps. Gabrielle, I've brought with me a book from university with pictures of how people in other lands live and how they govern. Norway, Italy, Japan. I have mentioned my interest in these, past, in these places only in passing, and you have brought me a whole book? Could it, you? And four days from now, I would like to take you on a date. I'm organizing a soup kitchen. We need someone to stir, and ladle. <gasps> Cinderella! Gabrielle, do not talk to that man. We are teetering precariously between the upper middle class and lower upper class. We cannot be seen with all. Revolutionary! Into this house at once! Why do I care? Why do I try? I'll never be good enough for her. I'll take this book and burn it! Why not give the book to your Ella? If it's quite all right, John Michaud, I would love to look at your book of how other countries live. Here, Ella. Take it. I shall go on my way alone. Live my own life. I'm a loner. <clears throat> You're coming with me, right? Of course. Good. A book. It's been so long since I've owned something just me. Cinderella, get in here and clean the kitchen. I've just finished it. Then th start dinner. It's on the stove. Then the beds, beds are all turned down and your bed clothing is all laid out. Well, where'd you get that book? Jean-Michel gave it to me. How lovely! People just give you gifts! Still daddy's little girl. And what's this? That's my father's coat. It's rags. It's all I have to remember him by. It's rags now. Clean the porch with these rags. I'm as mild and as meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know of a spot in my house where no one can stand in my way. In my own little corner, in my own little
little chair I can be whatever I want to be On the wing of my fancy I can fly anywhere And the world will open its arms to me I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan I'm an heiress who has always had herself made By her own flock of silkworms in Japan I'm a girl men go mad for loves a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air Just as long as I stay in my own little corner All alone in my own little chair I can be to be I'm a thief in Calcutta I'm a queen in Peru I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea I'm a huntress on an African safari it's a dangerous type of sport and yet it's fun in the night I sally forth to seek When I meet a lioness in her lair Then I'm glad to be back in my own little corner All alone in my own little chair to be just as long as I stay in my own little corner all alone, all alone in, my own, in my own little chair Your Majesty Your Majesty a list of the Lord's entreating thee a list of the lords entreating me with what? A hundred and five requests. Seems a lot. I'll take this. <clears throat> your majestic highness, in honor of your upcoming coronation, we proudly proclaim your kingdom a land of plenty and bounty. May I have the imprimatur of your ring on this other announcement? Right. Right, sorry, what's it for again? Oh, it's complicated. Do you really want me to get into it? Prince Topher, listen! What's that? You need to take responsibility for your actions! Who's that screaming on the other side of the moat? The people are being treated unfairly by your government! He seems upset. Rabble Rouser, ignore him. I have this new law which forbids any. But actually, if you'd hand me the ring, it would save the trip. People were never this upset with mom and dad, were they? Your parents had the good fortune of being royalty in a time of plenty. But since their unfortunate demise, I have done my best to run this country. I have done my best to raise you in the finest schools. Hello? I'm talking here. Ignore him. I won't give up. If you won't listen, I'll shout this to the town square. <gasps> shout this to the town square? Perhaps it's time for a distraction. Ooh, what kind of distraction? A royal wedding. Wow. And does that work? Like a dream every time. But we'll get married. 
Well, you. Me? But I don't know any girls. I went to an all-boys school off in the woods and an all-male university on an island. Why'd you do that to me? For this happy day, I am going to find you a bride. Oh, happy the day. That's nonsense. How will you find me a bride? We shall have a magnificent ball dancing. What? Every eligible young woman who can afford a gown will attend the ball. That is a wonderful selection process right there. If you cannot afford a nice dress, you have no business marrying a prince. Now, all the guests will be in masks. You will dance with every girl. At the stroke of midnight, everyone will have removed their mask, and you will have found your bride. That seems fast. King and queen on the throne, I'm there to guide you through all of your decisions. <laughs> it's really a win-win. But who will fall in love with me so quickly? A valid question, which we will answer sometime soon. Now, Lord Pinkleton, I want you to tell this to all. A pronouncement. An announcement. <laughs> His Royal Highness, Christopher Rufus, Please don't say my whole name. Windermere, Vladimir, Carl Alexander, Please, it's embarrassing. Francois Reginald, Lancelot, Herman, 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 Gregory James is giving up all. Sebastian, please, dancing? Can we please talk about this? Now is the time, the time to act. No other time will do. Live and play your part. Don't give away your heart. Don't take what the world gives you. No, 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 listen, tradespeople, tankers, fishmongers. I shout to the prince, but he ignores me. He and Sebastian think that they can take the land from the very poor. Then it's only a matter of time before they take from all of us. For you just can't wait to be served by fate on a silver plate or a tray. Now is the time, the time of your life, the time of your life is today. The prince is big of all, the prince is big of all, he, 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 an invitation and suitably fashionable attire. And the prince will choose someone from the ball to be his bride. <gasps> that means any of you can be the queen. <laughs> so will he want a taller girl? Or will he want a stronger girl? Or will he want a taller girl? The prince is giving a ball. I wish I were a younger girl. I wish I were a younger girl.
Cock and twaddle. The prince is giving a ball. Tightening delicate Charlotte's corset. Oh, I can taste my lunch. Then we must move on to Gabrielle's hair. It's beginning to look, I fear, like a Bavarian pretzel. Cinderella. 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 <laughs> Cinderella. It is the most amusing name. I crack myself up. Her name is Ella, and she sits by the cinders of the fire, so I call her Cinder Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I have any friends? Face it, Mama. You are well versed in the art of ridicule. I do have a flair for it, don't I, actual daughters? Watch and learn. Cinderella, hurry. Get dressed quick. You're going to the ball. You're going to find a husband. I am? Ridicule. Who caught it? I did. That's terrible. Who could that be at this hour? Everyone clear out of here while I get rid of this imbecile. What brand of idiot would? Oh, why, Sebastian, what an unexpected delight. Madam, I have but a moment. I invite you to hang upon my every word. Invitation accepted. Tonight's ball shall be in masks. The prince will be wearing a white mask. What color mask will your daughter Gabrielle be wearing? Why, pink. Hmm, if the daughter is anything like the mother, I think the pink mask and the white mask shall meet and fall in love. Are you implying what I'm inferring? <laughs> your daughter is all part of my master plan. You are brilliant. You are perceptive. I shall see you at the ball. Together, we shall make this so. Daughters, come in quick. <gasps> oh, Gabrielle, look at you. You too, Charlotte, but really look at Gabrielle. Cinderella, bring in the orange box. Each of you shall wear a necklace made out of Venetian glass, more valuable than diamonds. For my courageous Charlotte. And for my beautiful daughter, Gabrielle. Who could that be at this hour? It must be good news. Good evening, madame. Gabrielle. I thought maybe for the ball tonight you might want to take these wildflowers. I picked them myself. They're so beautiful. Thank you, Jean-Michel. For the mother of the most perfect girl in all God's creation. I've picked these myself and- Get out of my house! <clears throat> Leave and take your simple pleasures with you! Would you perhaps consider- Leave! Madame, don't be so mean. That was so nice. No, 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 no. Plans. There are plans that do not include Mr. Soapbox. But he means well, and I think he likes me. Let me 
me tell you something about love. Miss flowers in your hands and dreams in your head. I married your father for love. He died and I cried. Then I'd marry Cinderella's father for money. He died and I got a house. Ball preparations, double time. <laughs> My shoes. Charlotte, powder Gabrielle's face. I can't see. Venetian glass. I'm hungry. Gabrielle, feed the baby. Cinderella, my cloak. Expensive bracelet, necklace, hair. Then the prince we shall ensnare. Then the prince we shall ensnare. Are we worthy? Yes, yes. yes. To battle, my daughters, the crown is ours to lose. My daughters, the crown is ours to lose. This is the night everything changes. Expensive bracelet, necklace, hair. Cinderella isn't going anywhere. <laughs> One of the flowers in the bouquet was a wild rose. Its thorn has scratched my lip. I'm, I'm bleeding. I should walk up to the prince, scratch his lip. Oh, now. Make him drink lemonade, make it sting. That's just cruel. Enough of taking things as they are. Now's the time for us, the tradespeople, the peasants, to march to the palace steps and demand that the prince listen to us instead of having his fancy ball. You should do that. You should go to the prince and talk to him. He won't listen to me. He uses his castle to hide from the truth. Him meeting me will never happen. The only thing funnier would be you going to the ball. You know what? Why don't you go to the ball and ask the prince when he's going to start noticing. Noticing that the people are being evicted from their land. It's absurd. Uh, Jean-Michel! I could go to the prince and he might even listen to me. And, well, if maybe if I had a ball gown, I think I might look sort of nice. I am in the royal palace of all places When you meet the finest prince you'll ever see And the color on my two stepsisters' faces Is a queer sort of sour apple green I am coy and flirtatious when alone with the prince of a foolish dream. I am being 
being foolish. Then be foolish with me. Tell me, what is it you dream of? Why, an invitation to the ball, I guess? Right here. There's an invitation. What? Oh, well, but it's torn. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just go. Now tell me what else it is you dream of. Well, a white gown, a beautiful white gown sewn with pearls and jewels, and a tiara of diamonds. And on your feet? Why, the most beautiful pair of girl grain pumps, I'd imagine. No. Better! <laughs> the Venetian glass that your stepmother so loves in her trinkets and baubles. An entire pair of shoes made only of Venetian glass. <laughs> How silly! I'd be the envy of all. Well, but how would I get to the ball? Well, this pumpkin right here. Yes? I'll turn it into a golden carriage. Oh, and horses? Those smuts trapped in this cage. Oh, oh, and a fox as a footman, and a raccoon as a driver. <laughs> you are crazy, Marie. Well, why, in order to do that, you would have to be a fairy godmother. Marie! But you're a crazy woman! What are you doing in that beautiful gown? You'd be surprised at how many beautiful gowns have crazy women in them. Are you really my fairy godmother? Yes, my child. Actually, I'm everyone's fairy godmother. But you're the only one who's ever given me kindness, generosity, and charity. And now I must make all the dreams that we joked about come true. That's so improbable, implausible, impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carrot, impossible for this plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage, and four white mice will never be four white horses. Such Things are happening every day. Impossible, 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 impossible. I suppose so. Well, then you could change it all. You can make it all happen. No, you can change it all. You can make it all happen. Oh, no, never. I couldn't. You're right. It's just all so... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible for this plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage and four white mice will never be four white horses such fold roy and fiddle of course is impossible but the world is full of zanies and fools who won't believe in sensible rules and won't believe what sensible people Oh, cutie little.
little mice, cutie little mice, how are you? Hello, there we go. Come on, come on. There we go, come on. So cute. Oh, now Foxy, you're next. <laughs> yes, 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 let's go. Oh, oh wonderful. Mr. Raccoon, your turn. in our laughter, Venetian glass slippers. But Cinderella, I must tell you, this magic is all very powerful, and it will end at midnight. But now go, go to the ball, in the name of every girl who wished to change the world she lived in. And go in the name of every girl who wished to go to a ball in a beautiful gown. <laughs> Sebastian, honestly. Only 200 women to go. So, which one is he here? Which one is which? The prince, duh. Which one is the prince? What do you think I'm here for? The free food? Well, a good time, a dance perhaps? Wrong answer. I got marrying royalty in my mind. So, which one is he here? Well, Maybe it's me. Not likely. You're too... ordinary. 
What makes you think I'm ordinary? We're doing the vault and you can't even keep the beat. When we get to the vault, you're gonna trip over your two left feet and land in your flat little bottom. End of discussion. Well, hope to talk to you later then. I've moved on. How do you do? How do you do? Lovely dance, isn't it? I hope my dancing's all right. Oh, your dancing's awfully princely. Oops, I let that slip out. So you know. I would recognize a wise and handsome prince anywhere. Well, that last girl didn't know. You're kidding! Well, thanks for the heads up! I think she knows now. Well... So... Tell me something about yourself. What would you like to know, your highness? What are some of your interests? Whatever your interests are, your highness. Okay, creepy. Your most majestic highness, just because I was playing hard to get doesn't mean I'm hard to get. Okay, very creepy. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I don't think I could do this anymore. What happened to the nice girl? Ignore her, we're playing ridicule. You will be the judge. Two circles spin when the music stops. Two players will out ridicule one another. Let's find you a bride. Stop! You and you. My dear, I love your dress, no matter how many times I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember when it was first in fashion, when I was a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not talk about your childhood, as I have not brought along a copy of the Old Testament to follow along. <laughs> What do you even call that? Well, it's awfully sophisticated. It seems more like cruelty to me. Sophisticated cruelty. There's a slight difference there. I keep forgetting what it is. I don't think I can play this anymore. And here we have another round at the ready. You and you. <laughs> Age before beauty. You first, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I love your speaking voice. Have you ever considered reciting poetry? Say it. What? Do it. What? The anticipation is killing me. Do the ridicule. Why do you do this to me? No reason. I just really like your speaking voice, and I think it would sound just wonderful reciting poetry. And I love that feather in your hair. It's a lovely color for you. Why do you do this to me? What is this bewitchery you practice? It's just kindness. Kindness? Oh, yes. Kindness is used everywhere now. Ridicule isn't used anywhere anymore. It's all kindness now, even in the French courts. Kindness? Yes. You know, compassion? Who are you, you strange woman? I don't know who she is, but she is very wealthy indeed. And did you see her shoes made out of Venetian glass? My resentment is all consuming. Kindness, you all must try it. Kindness, I'll be the first. How wonderful it is to have a lady such as you in our courts. Thank you. 
And it's an honor to be at this wonderful party you're throwing. It's like every time they speak, a part of me dies. <laughs> you know, I must say, this courtroom is filled with some of the loveliest women I have ever seen. <laughs> I just saw that they had this vanilla cake at the buffet, and man, I love this vanilla cake. Really, thank you to whoever made it. But it tries. No, thank you. It's filled with laughter. It's like it was during the time of Prince Tofa's parents. May his reign be a continuation of theirs. You are so kind. You make me want to be a better person. But there's something somewhat familiar about you. I wonder what that could be. I admire how you've changed everything around. I feel so comfortable with you. I feel like we've met before. Ten minutes ago, I saw you. I looked up when you came through the door. My head started reeling, you gave me a feeling. The room had no ceiling or floor. Ten minutes ago, I met you. And we murmured our how do you do's I wanted to ring out the bells And fling out my arms and to sing out the news I have found her, she's an angel With the dust of the stars in her eyes we are dancing, we are flying, and she's taking me back to the skies. In the arms of my love, I'm flying over mountain and meadow and glen. And I like it so well, therefore all I can tell, I may never come down again I may never come down to earth again I'm sorry to be so effusive I'm not usually like this with someone I've just met events like this I just feel like what am I doing I feel the same like such a phony so do I you do yes me too. My name's Topher. So short for Christopher. Yes, I know. Have we met before? Yes. And we're seeing each other for the first time right now. Ten minutes ago, I met you. And we murmured our how do you do. I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my
You. I don't want to go, but I must. Then don't go. Prince Topher, there's something I must tell you. You must open your eyes to what's going on in your kingdom. The poor are having their land taken away. You must help them. You must. I don't think that's kind. How can you say that's kindness? This is all so wonderful. You are so wonderful, but I have to go. Wait. Wait, young lady, where are you going? Please, wait, stop! Your Highness! Your Highness! Gabrielle! Charlotte! <laughs> wait! I don't even know your name! Please! Someone help! Wait, I don't even know your name. Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Stemmer, I'm the choir director here, and we have about a five minute intermission, so I'm going to ask um, some trivia questions. So how many of you think you have the best teacher in elementary? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invite your teachers up here, and we're gonna see who can answer these fairy tale trivia. So can I have the teachers come up? All right, shh. All right, let's get started. You need to sit quietly, shh. Now, we're gonna cheer for your teachers if they get the answers right, but no cheating. Are you ready? Here we go, we'll start with Mr. Sanchez. <clears throat> Mr. Sanchez, in the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, how did the evil witch poison Snow White? With an apple? With an apple is correct. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, this one's too easy. I'm moving on to the next one. All right, I'll give it to you because I like you. Because, you know, she helps with choir. <laughs> All right, which of these fairy tale characters loses a shoe? Cinderella. Cinderella is correct. Yeah. All right. Ready? She said to give her an easy one. All right. She lives really close to me, so I will give her an easy one. In which popular story would you find a talking cricket? Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is correct. All right. Let's see. 
How about this one? Are you ready? The character of Maleficent appears in which fairy tale? Sleeping Beauty. Correct, Sleeping Beauty. All right. All right. Well, I will also give you an easy one because your daughters inquire. Here we go. <clears throat> in the classic version of Cinderella, how many stepsisters does she have? Two. Two is correct. All right. <clears throat> now, I think this one's a little bit hard. But maybe I'm wrong. I'll try to help you out a little bit. It's a dirty job. Are you ready? What did the seven dwarves do for a living? They're miners. Yes, miners is correct. <laughs> All right, because she's a substitute, she wants a really easy one. All right. So we got to be quiet so we can get it. Here we go. Mm, these are really hard. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to help you out. Uh, okay, that's hard too. Oh, no, this may be hard, but I think you may be able to get it. They, they can help you. Are you ready? You're going to have to think hard for this one, students. Who knows how to spin straw into gold? Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin, correct! Oh, thank you very much. Here we go, act two. I don't even know your name. She's run off, the lady. She's gone off in a golden carriage. We must find her. Madame, we will take your carriage. We have it the room. Leave one of your daughters behind then. We must find this girl. She's my destiny. Wait, 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 wait. Did that just happen? Seriously, did that just happen? Seriously? What? I would have fell on a girl like her. A frail and flossy beauty. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a solid girl like me? She's a frothy little bubble with a flimsy kind of charm. And with very little trouble, I can break her little arm. Why would a fellow want a girl like her? So obviously unusual. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a usual girl like me? Her face is exquisite, I suppose. Was it then a rose? Find this girl, it's the last thing I do. Yes, he's witty, so disarming, and I really like the way he holds a room. Clever, cunning, ever charming. How do I make him see I'm special? It's a pity. It's a pity. I'm as pretty. Plus I've got the 
Lord Pinkleton, where is she? There are points along the eastern road of a golden carriage. Ten minutes ago, I held her. Your Majesty, we saw the carriage! Impossible! Impossible! Then we must do the impossible! Ten minutes ago Dancing in the palace of all places And her gown was like a cloud of snowy white And the moonlight shone its gleam upon our faces Till she vanished like a phantom Just know I will find you, you're the girl of my dreams And the thrill is more than my heart can bear Not a carriage! That's it! That's the one! After her! To the west! I was quite convinced that my daughter was going to become queen and I never would have to come back to this. And well, here I am back to this. Was the ball a disappointment, madame? The king, despite him being well born and taken great care of by our lord protector, showed the most appalling manners. Appalling! He spent the entire evening dancing and talking with some little nobody. Oh, and how did Gabrielle and Charlotte take that? The prince has fallen head over heels for somebody else. If he keeps this up, I might not want to go out with him. What was going on through his royal highness's thick skull? The way he looked at her, with respect. Ugh. I hope no man ever looks at me that way. If any woman had any sense of morality or what's right in this world, she wouldn't have gone to the ball at all. But can you imagine how she must have felt dancing at, at the ball with the man of her dreams? I cannot where my mind has no place for the purial or rank. I can imagine it, I think. I can imagine it. I can imagine it, and I have no imagination. When you're driving through the moonlight on the highway, when you're driving through the moonlight to the dance, 
You are breathless with the wild anticipation of adventure and excitement and romance. Then at last you see the towers of the palace silhouetted on the sky above the park. And below them is a row of lighted windows like a lovely diamond necklace in the dark. as if she knows I do not know that this is so I only just suppose I suppose that when you come into the ballroom and the room itself is floating in the air if you're suddenly confronted by his highness you are frozen like a statue on the stairs hear the way your heart is beating and you know you mustn't make the first advance you are seriously thinking of retreating and you seem to hear him asking you to dance you make a bow a timid bow and shyly answer yes how would you know this is so I do no more than guess You can guess till you're blue in the face But you can't even picture such a man He's more than a prince, he's a nice But sisters, I really think I can And what? I think that I can picture such a man It too. This squinting is in my sinus condition. It's me imagining it. I'm throwing caution to the wind. I'm imagining it as well. And imagine what that girl must have felt when she danced with the prince. A lovely night, a lovely night, a fun Prince, a charming prince, as charming as a prince will ever be. The stars in a hazy heaven tremble above you while he is whispering, Darling, I love you. You say goodbye, away you fly, but on your lips you keep a kiss. All your life you'll dream of this love. I love you. <laughs> you say goodbye. Away you fly. But on your lips you'll keep a kiss. All your life you'll dream of this lovely, lovely night.
my love. You say goodbye. Away, away you fly. But on your lips you keep a kiss. All your life you'll dream of this. Lovely, 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 lovely night. Isn't it wonderful how the needy just keep on going? Get up and put away whatever that is called. The only thing to come for me after this disastrous evening is how absolutely devastated the prince looked when his dream date ran away. <laughs> yes, oh, it was hilarious. There was tons of yammering in the powder room about it. Why did the girl run away? My personal belief is that up close she was physically unappealing. To bed, my lovely daughters. Cinderella, clean up this pigsty of a parlor. And why is there a pumpkin and feathers on the table? It makes no design sense. Is there anything else you'd like to know, Ella? No, it really sounds like a magnificent ball. Only I wish I could have been there. Um, how did you know everything that happened at the ball this evening? Well, I just supposed it, imagined it, had a vision. Interesting. Quick, how many fingers? Two? Three. Where are your visions now? You're being silly. You're just teasing me because I said the prince was wearing a white jacket. Uh, you did it, and he was. Something's going on here. You're being absurd. More than usual. Um, I have to Let finish. Let me help you with that. Y your hands are so rough and callous from work. Just like the hand of the woman I shook at the ball who danced with the prince. I don't know what you're talking about. It was about. you, wasn't it? Um, it was uh, you. You won't tell the others, will you, Madame and Charlotte? No, never. Are you mad at me because I stole the prince from you? I must confess a secret. I never loved the prince or even liked him. There's someone else that I want. Oh, that's wonderful. Who is it? Madame hates him. Oh, Madame hating him doesn't narrow the field. Who is it? If I promise to keep your secret of the prince, do you promise to keep my secret of my forbidden love? I can, and I will. It's Sean Michelle, the fire! He's a good man, and, well, he seems angry for all the right reasons. He wants to change the world and make it a better place, and you gotta love a guy like that. Well, you may one day win Jean-Michel, but I will never win Prince Topher. If he saw me for who I truly was, he would never love me. That's not true. He would love you for who you are. I don't see how. Well, I start to think of what Madame might do if she finds out about Jean-Michel, and are you sure you can keep my secret? I can. We shall have a secret. That will make us... Co-conspirators. Friends. Sisters. <laughs> May we both find our loves. And our lives. The stars in a hazy heaven Trembling above me Danced when he promised Always to love me The day he came through Away I flew, but on my lips he left a kiss. All my life I'll dream of this. Lovely, lovely, lovely night. The loneliness of sunrise. When the deep purple heaven turns blue And as the moon, oh how soon, how soon will my love come home to me I wake in the loneliness of evening Looking out on a silver flake sea And ask the moon, oh how soon, how soon will my love come home to me I have found her, an angel Of evening, 
looking out on a silver flake scene. And as the moon, know oh, how soon, how soon will my love come home to me? Will my love come home to me? Fire. Three nights in a row you search and here it is. Four o'clock in the morning. It's as if you are testing my good nature. The second that woman in the white ran off, which we all must admit seems to imply that she has a police record, the second that she ran off, you don't want to dance with any of the other girls. Sebastian, is it true that there's people whose lands have been taken away? If there were, I would tell you. Do they need our help? Everyone donated joyfully. Ignore this talk. Where did you hear it? The girl. I don't know that she is to be trusted. Please come back to the palace. The work is piling up. No, something's not right. As you say. The ring, sire. Right. What's it for again? Nothing, sire, but hardly worth troubling your beautiful mind about. Let me read it. Um, I, I, I should explain before you... I'm reading this now. Your future majesty, let's go back to the palace and allow me to drop some coverage. You don't want to... I'll let you know if I need anything explained. But... I'm reading this now. Thank you. Oh no. Sebastian! Sire, I can explain. How can you do this in my name? I'm maintaining this life for you. Without my watchful eye, you should be a pauper. Would you like that? I want the girl, the girl that talked to me. I want to talk to that girl. A troublemaker. We're having another banquet, and she'll come to that. She won't come. This is lunacy. We're having another banquet, and you invite everyone in the kingdom. Don't forget who you are talking to. And don't forget who you're talking to. We're having another banquet, a ball. Very well, sire. She won't show, and you don't even know her name. And if she really thought you were worthy of all of her high ideals, she would have stayed, wouldn't she? A banquet! The prince is looking dreamy-eyed, he has since giving the ball, and still he wants to find his bride, the one that he lost at the ball. So spread the word throughout the land, the prince is throwing a banquet. It is his wish that the woman that he met at the ball will attend. As for the rest of us, well, what can I say? There's gonna be a ham. Talk it back to me. And of course, I want to keep a watchful eye on what women are there. I'm not giving up control this time. Spread the word. It's royal luck. It's Christopher Rope, but James is giving a banquet tonight. Invitation only. A banquet tonight, Cinderella. Where are you, Cinderella? Where can you be? His Royal Highness, Christopher Rupert. Don't be and dream, I can't find his lady. Hoping to see her, asking where is she? Cinderella, where is she? Gregory James is giving a... A banquet tonight? Two major social events in one week? This seems like cruel and unusual punishment. Now granted, my physical perfection has never looked better, but my physical perfection comes at a prize. Gloves, that's what it was. Cinderella, where are my gloves? Ella, shh, quick. And don't tell her you have your gloves quite yet. Yes, I know she'll be abusive later, but trust me, it shall be worth it. I'm going to tell Madame I'm sick. Oh, would you like to? I'm not actually sick. I'm just pretending. It's just like when Charlotte was in school and used to pretend to be sick to get out of things she didn't like, like the third and fourth grade. <laughs> and just as we are leaving, I will be sick. 
Charlotte and Madame will leave, and I will change back into my regular clothes, and I will meet my secret crush, Sean Michel. I'm taking up, taking him up on his offer to work in the soup kitchen. A soup kitchen? I get the ladle. You heard me. And guess what will happen to one of my beautiful dresses and this invitation? I shall loan them both to you, and you will go in my stead, and meet the prince, and fall in love, and get married, and exact revenge on Jean, on, on Madame, and keep Jean Michel out of the stockade, and la 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 la. It's just the way my mind works. Cinderella, where is my glove? And don't worry about Madame. She never notices anything that isn't her. Your gloves are right here, Madame. Foolish child, why didn't you tell me you had my glove? Charlotte, make haste. And remember, child, those shoes are delicate and dainty. Oh, my feet burn with the heat of a thousand suns. To the carriage, my daughters. Oh, madame, my stomach. I must have eaten something that disagrees with me this morning. No, 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 no. This cannot keep me from going to the banquet tonight. Go, go. Let Charlotte take the prince from the homely woman from the ball. Go, let Charlotte become queen. I think I can work with that. All right. Well, Cinderella, you go fetch the physician and make sure Gabrielle gets better. Gabrielle, get better. I insist on it. And make sure you keep your invitation. Let's go to the carriage. Thank you, mother. <gasps> no, 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 not on the shoes. Charlotte, let's go. Quick, I'll change in. You knock on the door. It knocked back. I'm just gonna open it. Good evening, Ella. Well, hello, Jean-Michel. I'm sick of hiding in the shadows like a fearful person. Would you rather see Madame? Hiding is nice. How are you this evening? I'm going out with Gabrielle and I'm wound up like a tick. First, we will go to the green grocer and beg him for what scraps he might have left. Then, we will slave over a hot stove and serve a meal to the very poor. I do hope she's not expecting this much fun every night. <laughs> and your dealings with the prince, how's that going? He still doesn't seem to listen. May I? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. What might your plans be for this evening? You know, staying home as always with the banquet tonight, have to keep the place tidy. And Madame, you don't think she suspects me here? Good not evening, Jean-Michel. Good evening, Gabrielle. I much prefer you in the simple attire. You, you no longer look like a carnival attraction. Oh, you speak such kind words to me all the day long. And what are the soup kitchen? Our first responsibility is with the poor. Then we shall march to the palace steps, and we shall speak to the prince. We have but one problem. What's that? That he'll actually speak to me. Well, Helen might be a help. She talked to the prince, you know. What? She went to the ball, and they talked about the kingdom and how to make things better. And tonight, she's going to the bank. Wait. This world is upside down. But do you know what this means? If Ella talked to the prince, then that means that I can talk to him and he'll be open to my suggestions. Well, what do you call this feeling I have? Optimism. Optimism. I have to do this more often. You can march up to the prince and talk to him. I can march up to the prince and talk to him. You can be a leader. I can be a leader. You can be my boyfriend. I can be your boyfriend. Left turn. What are you doing? doing? This seems very counter-revolutionary. I like the man who wants to change the world, but I also like the man who bought me flowers. Uh, you, who brought you flowers? Oh, I did. N no, I, I couldn't. You said it yourself. Optimism. Optimism? Let yourself go. I could be your boyfriend? Yes. Yes, yes. Am I your boyfriend? Yes. Yes. Come on. So that's how it is. My own daughter, my flesh and blood, deceiving me with someone decidedly so unsuitable. I had plans for you, Gabrielle. I had your whole life planned out for you, and this is how you show your gratitude. All dressed and ready for court. How do I look? And you, do you really think you could go to court? I never loved your father. I only wanted his money. You've been a nuisance to me since the day he died. You think you could wear a beautiful gown? You think that is acceptable? You should be in rags! Worn out rags, that's all you deserve! Mom, oh. please stop! And you, you are no longer my daughter! Out of my house at once! I'll figure out what to do with you later. Why did you make me doubt myself? 
I was doing so well. Oh, at last, a friendly face. Ella, you must hurry. You shall be late for the banquet. No! Look, everything is ruined. Ella, you must hurry. The prince wants you. He needs you. No, I can't. Why do you think he's having the second event tonight? To try to find you. Every time I take a step forward, Madame pushes me back. The prince would never love me if he saw me for who I truly was. I can't keep fighting. If you have a dream, then very soon thereafter, you're going to have to fight for it. Why otherwise, how else would you know that the dream is yours? But my life. Exactly. It's your life. Was there anything else? Well, the glass slippers you have, and... Oh, the book! The book that John Michel gave you, the one about the world. Now you will only have the whole world to help you. Now you can go wherever you want to go. Come 
reception. Your Majestic Highness, I believe all the guests have arrived. It's time for the banquet. I'm waiting for her. She has to come. Very well, sire, but be warned, this party is a pack of gossips. I'd hurry along if I were you. Prince Topher! You're here. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm so glad. I knew if I had a banquet, you'd come. I'm sorry I ran away before. And you're more beautiful than I remember. Did you really have this banquet just for me? I would have a hundred banquets to find you. And the thing about me being more beautiful than you remembered, that's real too? Yes, yes, of course. Wow, what do you know about that? I've been thinking about you, and I've been thinking of what you said about the people having their land taken from them. The court tells me to ignore such talk, but... But you know if you're going to be king, you're going to have to pay attention to the things people tell you to ignore. Yes, yes I know, and I want to meet all my people, not just the one Sebastian lets me see. I just don't know how. It's impossible. Oh, well, that's going to be more possible than you can even imagine. My friend Jean-Michel and my sister Gabrielle are headed here right now with some of your people. Wait, it's to talk to me, but if things are as bad as you say, then they'll be angry with me. I think if you can do bad with a giant or dragon, I think you can handle a few people who just want to talk to you. Okay, you're good. Just be yourself and... Well, they'll see the man that I see. They're coming! Wait, what's your name? Just trust me, because I'm your one true friend. Friends, come meet Prince Topher! Just don't say my name. I won't say your name. I won't even mention that cold dress. Are you all right? Yes, yes. Jean-Michel is a wonderful man with a lot of brilliant ideas. No, no. It's nice to meet you. And my sister, Gabrielle. This is Yvonne and her baby. I see the resemblance. And, and this is Sam. It's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you, too. Hey, this prince is all right. OK, I'm holding a baby. He talks to him like a real prince. Prince Topher, Jean-Michel has something he'd like to say to you. I, we. These people, they've, they've had their land taken from them. I know I've said this before, but I now know what it is to have someone you love lose their home. We need your help. We, we need to have our voices heard. Yes, yes, trust me. I know what it's like to be overlooked. I want to help you, but how? What's here? Do you know it? I read it at university. Look. Chapter 2. Of course, chapter 2. Chapter 2? I never got that far. Chapter 2, I should have known. People, I think I have a plan. I knew you would. Long live Prince Topher. Our future king. <laughs> Prince Topher. What are you doing surrounded by these ragamuffins? Sebastian, you said nobody needed my help. What do you call these people? Well, from their attire, I assume artists. We demand to have our voices heard. Yeah. Oh. A beheading wouldn't be out of place here. Yes, everyone must be heard. That's a great idea. What is going on? Now there's a way for all to be seen and heard. It's in this book. In one month, we will all vote for a new job. I will create the post of Prime Minister, someone who will counsel me. I nominate our current Lord Protector, Sebastian. <gasps> oh, I am unworthy, sire. I also nominate this man, Jean Michel. What? <laughs> Let the people decide the way things are and the way things could be. Everyone, rich and poor, shall have one vote. One vote, one person? Where's the fun in that? People, in one month I give you an election. Oh. 
Yes, that's a great idea. Now everyone, rich and poor, into the castle for a free banquet. Hooray! <laughs> I knew you could. I did do it. And I think I know who I am now. You're smiling. I mean, I've seen you smile before, but never like that. I think I know the king I can be now. Just, fair, kind-hearted, and you showed me the way. You seem so sure of yourself, so sure of everything. I feel like I can answer every question that gets thrown at me. You can. With you, I can. There's just... One question I don't have the answer for. Do I love you because you're beautiful? Or are you beautiful because I love you? Am I making believe I see in you? A girl too lovely to be really true Do I want you because you're wonderful Or are you wonderful Because I want you Are you the sweet invention of lovers dreams to be really true Do I want you because you're wonderful Or are you wonderful because I want you Are you the sweet invention of a lover's dream Now, I truly believe we can actually change the world, you and I. To the banquet? To the banquet. Um, what time is it? Only midnight, why? Midnight? I have to go! Again? Why? I don't want to, but I have to. How do you leave me? Why do you leave me? If you saw me for who I truly was, you would never love me! Don't leave me! Let's go. Please, someone guard, help. Ha! all is well. A great day in the kingdom. In one month marks our first free election for Prime Minister of the land. Our current candidates are our current Lord and Protector Sebastian. And, of course, Jean Michel. But, of uh, first, all women come to the palace to try on the glass slipper. Whosoever fits it shall be married to the prince. That was the biggest news announcement I've ever shouted. I'll be back at 11 with weather and sports.
The prince intends to search until he finds the girl who fits the bill. Well, not the bill, the shoe, I mean, the shoe to fit a queen. The shoe does not fit. <coughs> the shoe does not fit. We have to find this girl. If the shoe's made of glass, then it can only fit one person. That's why she left it, right? It does not look good. <coughs> How goes it? So far, no luck. Now, you will try on our slipper for the family. Make sure you make eye contact with his highness. Don't you mean only? No one's seen Cinderella since you yelled at her two days ago. Oh, and you kicked out Gabrielle because she likes that guy who might be our new prime minister. <laughs> Great call there. I don't know what's wrong in this world. Everything I thought was holy and true is trash. Everything that meant nothing to me now means everything. Hey. Gabrielle, I've decided if I become prime minister, I'm going to marry you. Wow, the sticks are really piling up. It does not fit. Of course it doesn't fit. I'm not the girl the prince has fallen in love with. None of us are that girl. Is she truly the last eligible lady in the kingdom? She appears to be us. She can't be. I told you she wouldn't show. Can we please end this charade? Did everyone truly try on the slipper? I haven't tried on the slipper. Everything has led you to this moment. Now you have something to believe in. Yourself. Have we met before? Yes, and we are seeing each other for the first time right now. <gasps> the shoe fence! It is you. You will dance with me. You will show me my kingdom. You will give me water when I was thirsty. Please don't run away again. I don't think I could bear it. We both know how cruel I've been to you since your father passed away. I'm not sure if I'm worthy of your famous kindness. I'm not worthy. Madame, you have treated me very poorly indeed. But now I say to you the three kindest words I know. I forgive you. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you think that might include me? For you. It includes several hours of community service. You're amazing. Do you think I could maybe learn your name now? Cinderella. Cinderella, it's beautiful. It's a name I once hated, but starting today I'll keep. So that whenever anyone thinks something is impossible, they'll just say my name and know better. Cinderella, I love you so much. I don't know what to do. Um, well, is marriage still on the table? Yes! Yes, oh my, yes, you have to marry me! I mean, uh, will you marry me? Uh, sorry. Cinderella, will you marry me? Yes, my handsome prince, I will marry you.
you wish right now.